What's up? Um, this is going to be the start of um, a series of tutorials for Visual Basic uh, 2010 Express Edition, or also known as Visual Basic dot net. Uh, yeah, everything in the video that you're going to see is also available for Visual Basic uh, 2008 version. If you prefer to use that, I really um, I prefer 2008 over 2010. But uh, since the little updates and all that good stuff, I, I'd, I'd rather use 2010. But again, it's your choice. So the thing with Visual Basic is, it's basically a a big giant program where you can make your own programs, and anything's possible with with this. Well, almost anything. Um, so to start out and get into jumping in and showing how to work this whole, whole entire program to how you would like the first thing you've got you, the first thing you got to figure out is how to actually start out so to start out making your program you have to go to file when you open visual basic 2010 go to file new project and then it's going to ask you what type of uh template you want it should automatically say windows form application uh console applications are, are a bit more advanced and they usually are consist of text based adventure games but for this um example i'm just going to be using windows form application now for the name you can name it really whatever you want um for this example i'm going to be using t tutorial or just tut trevor shortbird suite now i guess a little time to load it can take a while uh, when it's for uh, batching everything out. So the first thing you're going to notice is that you have a a giant square sitting right in front of you that sort of looks like a uh, like a like a like a window application like a Windows application I'm trying to say. And that's basically what it is. It's a big giant square it's, and it's a Windows application. And what you can what you start out with is you know a square and what you end up with is anything that you can choose. So the first first thing that you're always probably going to want to do is you want to go in and select your form. Your form one is your basically your window. A forms equal window, okay? So form one we would be window one in reality, or as to your your eye. I'm trying to again. I'm trying to explain this as if you were a very early newcomer don't know what anything is so a form would basically be like a window in your point of view so when we select it down at the bottom right over here we're gonna see some properties that unfold to us and we can actually edit these out what this will do is change the values of the form and one of the major ones that we want to be changing is the text the text of a form is the name of the window that the form is going to be. So let's just call it tut. Or, for this example, of course, I'm just going to name it Hello World. Because that's all this tutorial is going to be uh, showing you guys how to do for now. And once we have this changed, I'm going to actually show you one important thing that you're going to want to remember. Every object inside of Visual Basic has a name, and what the name is is to refer to it when you're writing the code. So if you want to refer to a button, uh, the default name for a button would be button one, then it would go to button two. So if you were on, if you were going to refer to button one, you would type button one dot whatever, and then for a form, it would be form one dot whatever. And of course, if you change the name, you're gonna have to change it because that's what it's gonna refer to it as inside the code again. So what this what this uh, what this pro what this tutorial is actually gonna teach you guys is how to make a button that when you click it, a little message box comes up that says "Hello World." So in the visual part of it. What you're going to want to do is you're going to need to uh, set this button out to be however big you want. You can, of course, select your form one or your window and drag this out to however big you want it. Uh, that's big enough. Now we can 
put this over to the corner and then drag this out to the other two corners and now we have a fairly big sized button now if we go ahead and double click that actually before we double click it we're going to want to set the text the text of anything is pretty much what the user is going to see for words pretty much so if you set the text to a button it would be what the button text in the middle would say so now that we set the text to it to hello world we can go ahead and double click it now what a button does is that every time it gets clicked it's going to execute the command inside of the code for the button itself now the way visual basic works is that commands are executed on queue and depending on what you're using it's going to execute it at a different time and now there are other sh other things i should say that it can refer to to do separate separate stuff when that when that command is launched so if we wanted it to say when the window loads which is when as soon as the uh, application loads. I'm sorry if I'm confusing you, but we can actually set it to when the application loads to automatically click the button, and that would automatically execute whatever command is inside the button. But for now, we're just going to keep it simple, and whenever someone clicks the button, we're going to type in the code for whatever you need. So we can go as far as uh, just you know putting a message box, or as far as doing a whole mess of stuff like writing writing a text file inside of a user de destinated folder but that will require some more extra work but what we're just going to do now is just have a message box and the command for a basic message box would be w I mean m s g b o x then in parentheses what you want to say and uh, if you want to say something specific you have to put that in quotation marks so we're going to put hello world exclamation point in quotation marks to indicate we want to specifically say hello world and then close parentheses so it knows okay that's all you want to say so if we go ahead and debug debug this and again debugging is just it's going to compile the application so to de debug it you're going to either need to hit F5 on your keyboard or just hit this small little play button over here now what this again what this script is saying is that every time this button is clicked which is button one again that's what the program is referring to it as since that's the name of it it's going to execute the command in message box and then the text for in message box so let's go ahead and see if that is what it is going to be doing click it message box hello world okay and that is working a hundred percent now i'm not going to go into further detail of how this works because I think I explained it good enough for what this tutorial is actually aimed at and I'm gonna actually save this and in the next set of videos we're gonna actually be building off of this program and showing you some more tips and tricks and getting started inside of Visual Basic so again I hope this tutorial was very very informative and help helpful for all of you extreme extremely newcomers to Visual Basic and to to get even more lessons on Visual Basic, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Preferably subscribe to me. Thank you, and I am signing out.